Hi, my name is Joelle McNeely from LadyLiciousness.com and I have a, uh, a theory, a theory that I'm researching now and I'm trying to figure out uh, uh, the scientific background for it. But right now it's a theory and I think it's a pretty good theory. And it's about meditation. It's about how meditation works. Um, men and women's brains, they work differently and we uh, need different hormones and we need different activities in order to get out of our head and into our body. Now, meditation was made by men. They were monks and they were sitting out and they were meditating and they were doing their monk business. And then that practice moved around the whole world as an active practice to quieten our brains and quieten our souls, become more mindful and create that space that we need in order to um, have better choice in our life and um, have better control over uh, the management of our emotions and, um, and everything that hits us and our impulses. Um, and meditation, therefore being uh, uh, made by men, um, has a different effect on them as it does on us. When men uh, sit down in meditation and it's part of their stress lowering um, uh, ability, they send more blood from the prefrontal cortex to their testes so that they can make testosterone. That lowers men's stress levels. Um, women, we need oxytocin to help us lower our stress levels. And sitting down, when we sit down, we have more blood flow going to the emotional parts of our brain, which means that along with our diffuse awareness, the fact that we're aware of, you know, what's going on around us, the things that still need to be tidied up, the things, you know, you can't sit down and relax before, you know, things have been put into place. I'm sure you recognize that. So when we sit down, we've got more blood flow going to that part of our brain, which means we're not quieting our mind. We're getting more emotional probably about what's going on and who's doing what and, you know, the pressure of having to do it all ourselves. So meditation, um, therefore, has a different effect on men and women. Now, my theory is then, therefore, we need other things. And if you look into the history of all the ancient cultures, then you'll see that women were always dancing. Women were always uh, keeping active and sharing and uh, building sisterhood in different kinds of ways. Now, I'm not saying we have to separate and, and always be with women and men always have to be with men. What I'm saying is that we just need to um, educate ourselves on what works for us because we have different needs. We have different hormone needs. We have different uh, stress relieving needs and we just have a different physiology. And so I'm still researching this. I'm still trying to find more uh, information on it, but I wanted to share that thought with you because I'm talking about it a lot. And I think that uh, I think that it's good to, you know, start thinking deeper about the fact that we are different and we have different needs. And so instead of beating yourself up that you can't quiet in your mind, because I meet so many women out there that are beating themselves up that they're not doing it right, or they have to sit there for an hour or two, or, you know, who has that time to sit around and wait until our minds, you know, soften and that we can relax into meditation. Now I'm not disqualifying meditation whatsoever, not at all. Like I love to meditate. I give meditations. I, you know, I record visualizations for you guys. I love it. Um, what I'm saying is let's think a little bit deeper and let's see what works for us. Um, I interviewed uh, a, a Dutch, uh, um, a Dutch TV personality earlier this year, Sylvana Simons, and she, uh, she had a great thing uh, uh, that she suggested, which was to allow your mind to be set free. And she compared it to, you know, like when you go out to a park and you just let your dog loose and it can just like run wild and be free for that moment. Well, for 15 minutes a day, try to not have any impulses, try to not have any, you know, phones on. Uh, for 15 minutes a day, do not be disturbed. Find a moment for yourself and just allow your mind to go for a run in any direction, see what happens, see how that changes something for you. That or dance, that's my favorite thing to, to, to share and to promote, dance for yourself, one song a day. Um, I hope this was uh, nice information for you. I hope you can do something with it. I will come back and share more when I've researched more and when I get more uh, data on this, but think about it. It kind of makes sense to me. How about you? You can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. 
um, at Lady Liciousness. And I'd love to hear from you on what your thoughts are on this. Um, share with me. I'll see you soon. Bye.